Creed 2 has officially hit cinemas, and today I'm going to dive in and I'm going to tell you exactly what I thought of the movie, whether you should go see it, let me know if you've seen it in the comments below, tell me what your thoughts were, let's move into this, let's go. Creed 2 is the sequel to Creed, which is now the 8th film in the Rocky franchise, and boy, did this film deliver. This was a fantastic film, and it is the perfect way to send off Rocky. Absolutely perfect. This is what Rocky V was supposed to be. Rocky V was supposed to be Creed and Creed II. This is brilliant. It doesn't focus on Rocky. This is all about Adonis. All about Donnie and Bianca. And their journey throughout and how he has to refine himself, reinvent himself throughout. Of course, Ivan Drago is back with his son Victor. And, you know, you didn't think that they could connect Rocky IV and this one, but... They did. They executed this brilliantly. The execution was on point. And now you can see that how the Dragos, how it affected Ivan when he lost to Rocky and they really dive into that and towards the end you're starting to feel sorry for Ivan Drago and his son Victor and the way that they end it just it puts a smile on your face how it actually all ends there. And then you've got, on the other side, you've got the Rocky and Adonis. You know, he's... Drago's back. Rocky knows how dangerous he is. He knows what he come up against and how lethal Victor's going to be. And Adonis wants to take this fight, but Rocky's always like, no, no, you don't want to. And then they have a fallout and, oh, and then you just see how they rebuild it towards the end. And then the end... When Rock, what Rocky says to Adonis after the fight absolutely gives you chills, brings a tear to your eyes because you know what's coming after that. And it was just a perfect send-off for the character of Rocky. And Stallone should be f f bloody proud of what he has done with this Rocky franchise. And Rocky will always be one of those classic characters that will live in film history forever. And he has absolutely delivered and it is a perfect way to send off his character. Overall, I really recommend you go see this. This movie, I would give an A, an A for this movie, because it was just absolutely brilliant. It was emotionally there, got you invested. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat in the in the final, final bits. Uh, a lot of people in the cinemas were actually sitting forward on the edge of the seats. People were, it actually got you invested in this fight. I, there was these people that were cheering when he got knocked down. They were actually yelling "Get up!" to Adonis, and when he hit him, he's, they were cheering. Like that's just what this movie does. It gets you. You you feel like you're there in that fight, in that arena, and it absolutely delivered. And I cannot put it any higher praise on it. And I really recommend go see it. If you haven't seen it, make sure you watch watch Rocky, Rocky Two, Rocky Three. Rocky 4, Rocky... F well, you can just watch Rocky 4 if you want, and then go Creed, Creed 2. But otherwise, you can watch them all. But make sure you watch Creed before you watch Creed 2. But also, you should probably watch the Rockies as well, just so you know, you understand how Rocky is, and you'll get more out of this movie if you've watched all of them. So, yeah, I would recommend it. Go see it, and let me know in the comments if you've seen it, if you thought it was as good as I thought it was. And... Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace! Perfect. Perfect.